the studio and Bill Monroe Jr. Uh, from Yakima Bait as well as Bill Monroe Outdoors. Correct. Uh, the guide service out there. Buzz, it's good to see you. Thank you. Good to see you here <laughs> in the studio again. Yeah. Uh, Bill, it's good to see you. Pleasure as always. Uh, you two are out on the Columbia doing a shakedown today. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so they <laughs> ended up landing four shin... I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> we had hopes. No. We had hopes. Well, of yeah. course, you always have hope, right? Let's see. Two snags. Mm -hmm. yeah, two we, sea lions. Really? Yeah, I saw two sea yeah. lions. Yeah. Now, you've got some pretty good electronics on your sled. Did you see any fish that you would call we, Chinook? Or? We did see fish that we yep. knew were. Mm -hmm. You knew were Chinook. We felt like they were. They, they were like, big, they they like big enough marks, marks to okay. be okay. above. Yeah. I was going to say you other names or something. <laughs> but no, okay. So you did mark some fish. Yeah. Um, don't tell us where you were, but were you low, low, low? Were you mid, high? Where were you? Let's call it mid, low. Mid, low. Okay. Yeah. Mid -low. Anybody else yeah. out there chasing them around, or were you guys by yourself? Nope. We saw one boat anchored that was maybe 200 feet long. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bringing in shipments. They never caught a thing. <laughs> they never caught a thing. So they, got, they did as good as you guys did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I wonder if they were using uh, mag lips or if they were using the wrong ones. Uh, water temperature. What did you see out there? Cold. Very cold. Too cold. Too yeah, cold. We started out at 37.8. Holy smoke. And mine yeah. is an adjusted. It's to corrected. the number, you're sure. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, we ended the day at 38.9. 38.9. Yeah. So that was really cool. cold. That was kind of a shocker. I didn't expect it to be that cold. I if, I, if I'd have known that or if we'd have known that, we might have done something different. Sure. Of course, the land was pretty dirty. Yeah. So we went down there. And you know, as you might know, the biologists will tell you, the fish in the hatchery, when that water hits 39 degrees, they go to the bottom of the pond and sulk. And they don't move, right? And, and they wait. don't do anything. Right. They won't yeah. eat. Right. So it's probably not that much different with adults. Well, that, that <laughs> answers my question. I was going to ask you what your thoughts were, what would happen at, in those temperature range. I think most of us would know that answer, that they would become very lethargic and, and yeah. difficult to get to bite. Yeah. yeah. Understanding, of course, that it was under 40 degrees. It's the 1st of March. We've got some warmer weather that's kind of coming up. Is there a number, uh, you know, post 40 degrees that you might say, yeah, they're going to start biting? Hmm. I, I, I'd be voting for 44 if I had, if I could. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I somewhere leave, in those mid I'd like that. Okay. Well, you see, you, know? you see fish being caught in the alignment at 42. Yeah. 41. Yeah, already. Yeah. They'll start, they'll yeah. start biting at over anything over about 40, but yeah. really, you know, you get up there towards 44, and it's that's that's good. That's yeah, good water. Yeah, it's right yeah. there. Now, so it's interesting that we have to play that temperature game, but don't be too cold, and then it, it seemed that they were going the exact opposite <laughs> in a short period of time, like, I don't warm up too fast, you know. Yep. You get right. to 58, and everybody starts to panic, right? Mm -hmm. It's about ready to end, but uh, yeah. so interesting, <coughs> 38, 39 degrees out there. Uh, how the water look down there below the mouth of the Willamette? Surprisingly good. That was good. Huh. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we could sit well below the props. Oh, Okay, so yeah. that's definitely well fishable then. Very much. Oh, yeah. Now, the Willamette being at 15 on its turbidity gauge, uh, obviously, yeah, is a bit muddy. Vancouver mm -hmm. is sitting at like 6.1 oh, yeah, for a turbidity. Perfect. So that yeah. just blends in. You're going to be good below, heck, Cast well down. below Clam. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. So you'll yeah. be just fine. Now, you are professionally guiding. Are you going to be Sir? running trips anytime soon, or when are you actually going to be kicking My off? My first trip, I'm going to start the full-on Spring Chinook Fishery, March 20th. 20th? Wow. Yeah, I'm going to wait. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So the season we got good water. Year, I believe it's the 7th, 5th or the 7th? 7th is the last day. Is on the April Columbia. April 7th. What yep. they're okay. saying on the On Columbia. the Big River. So you're yep. going to forego 20-some-odd uh, days for 17. <sighs> I don't know. We're going to look at it. Okay. The only reason why I ask that is because <laughs> everybody has a different perspective on when they want to get started, when they want to start... Really, w yeah. when they want to get people out there and start charging them money, when does it actually make sense? That's when to it's going to so. be worth it. Yeah. Correct. There you go. It's a thoughtful guide. Yeah. <laughs> Keep that you in know, mind. if a person were right. taking vacation, mm -hmm. if they had only one week, presuming we'd get to the seventh, right? It would be those <laughs> the first seven days of April. Okay. Wow. If you're right. going to take two weeks off, right. Take the last week of March and the first week of April. It makes perfect sense. <laughs> yeah. You know, and that's really with the way the, the situation is setting up now, the river conditions, where we're at currently, you know, it really could be one of those years where the fishing could be pretty darn good if these temperatures hold out, but it could change right away. Yeah. Uh, if one things get rain. warm. But yeah. Yeah. Know, the seventh is going to be honest in no time. I mean, Right. For sure. Not very far out there at all. No, that's not sad. I'm, I'm still going to go out and fish. Oh, sure. And I might take a couple of, of clients and do like half price days. Right. That is a thing. Spring sure. or warm up trips. Sure. Never was a fan of that in the beginning, but it is a thing. Well, yeah. sure. It's a thing because people like the opportunity to get out a little bit cheaper and they can get out and have some fun with Bill. There you go. On the water.
Yep. Uh, are you going to make any trips to the Willamette prior to the Columbia shutting down? That's a really good question. If the Willamette keeps fishing the way it is, because it's my, your opinion too, this is the best uh, beginning early spring Chinook that we've seen in probably five years. Interesting. Um, I like that you put a number on it though, because I can't, I can't recall hearing yeah. so many fish caught in February. This early, I, yeah. yeah, I'm going off of old, my, not mm. only how I remember things, but mm -hmm. there's a bunch of old timers that I know of. Selwood, um, they say it. Not you, John. Not no, you. not John. He's not an old time. You're not an old time. Absolutely yet. not. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Sultan, by the way. Okay, we're going to cut to a quick break. I completely lost track of what we were oh, going to be yeah. talking about here uh, with some of the Yakima products. Guys, give me a shot with that Oregon Tackle Tech Cam, please. We're going to come back and talk about the buy three, get one free deal over at Fisherman's Marine with Yakima bait products. you got mag lifts, you've got flatfish, uh, the Hildebrandt spinners, which you're going to need throughout the entire mm. year now. Uh, and, of course, the famous fish splash uh, over here on the side. So, don't go anywhere. We're going to come back right here on NBC Sports Northwest in just a couple of minutes.